Hey guys, it's Poochie. I'm going to teach you today how to import items from Poshmark onto Whatnot. Now, this is only available right now from Poshmark, but what you can do, and this is really cool if you used, uh, if you cross post, if you cross list things using list perfectly, you can take them from eBay uh, to Poshmark and then from Poshmark to Whatnot very easily. So. I am on my screen here, as you can see, on whatnot. Let's go to my little poochie face. That is Louie, my mascot, by the way. Now we're going to go to Seller Hub My Listings, okay? When you click that, you're going to go to a different area over here. Okay. Uh, we go to Active Listings, right? You can see my Active Listings. All of them have been imported from Poshmark, by the way. So we're going to click create listing. I'll put a link to list perfectly down below. If you do not have it, my affiliate link. I mean, I, if you sign up, I think I get like a dollar 50 or something. I don't know. Uh, and I think they give you a free trial, which is awesome. That's what I use. Uh, myself when I'm trying out software I use all the free trials I can get so here we go bulk import you can do a single listing or a bulk import bulk import smash that smash import from Poshmark now all you have to do is you have to say hey my user ID on Poshmark is Poochie's Pickers I'm gonna pop that in there now watch says import items from Poochie's Pickers inventory. Poochie's Pickers's inventory. Yeah. Uh, if you hear squawking, just know that that is not what's her puss in the office nesting. That is the parakeets. They are in the house now uh, in the office area because it is cold outside. I mean, not outside, outside, but in the sunroom. And so the parakeets, 80% of the parakeets are now residing next to my office. So uh, what's her post does nest at times, but she does not squawk and chirp when she does it. Do you? <coughs> Making me a liar. Okay, so the reason it's taking so long is because it knows I'm recording. No, that's really not the reason. Because I have so many things on. Those birds are being loud. They are happy to be in the warm, I'll tell you. I have so many things listed on Poshmark that it takes a little while to upload them all, apparently. Apparently. In the meantime... This is what you call filler when you're doing a video and you're recording it live. Let's look at my book. It may be backwards on your screen. eBay Profits Unleashed by Poochie Smith. Okay, there we go. This will tell you all about how to make lots of money on eBay, by the way. It's available on Amazon. So, here we go. Uh, we have all these things right so if you want you can select all of them you can select none of them you can show only the incomplete so let me all of them are selected right now this is like 500 items which is a small amount of my inventory on Poshmark so I'm going to click incomplete now what does this do it brings up all the incomplete items that may not have the weight this one has unknown weight it may not have the category um, all sorts of stuff, okay? Some of these should automatically have the category. They don't. I don't know why they don't. So we're going to go up here and we're going to select none. We're going to bring over the ones that are easy, okay? So now none of them are selected. So I don't want to do any of the ones that I have to fill in the category and I have to fill in the this and the that because I just want to do this the easy way. Okay, so let's go down and see if there are any, any that I don't have to fill things out. Well, apparently there are not. So let me now teach you how to fill things out. Okay, so this is boys shoes. Um, 
select a category. You can change this later. So let's go for shoes maybe? No. Let's go for kids. Baby and kids. I'm going to make that the baby and kids category. Where'd it go? I don't know where it went. It disappeared. Okay. Um, so we had select none on, right? Now why did it go back to select all? Okay, it wasn't. That was my bad. I'm babbling incoherently, which was bound to happen at some point. Let's go in here and let's um, make this t-shirt. Clothing. Men's vintage clothing, women's vintage clothing, Disney. So uh, it's going to be kids. So I'm going to type in kids again. Baby and kids. Okay. Now you see how it's on here, import one item. I think that's because I clicked it before I fixed it. So like, let's go down here. This is another one. And see, I'm highlighting it. I'm clicking on it. So you see the red mark there. And I'm going to do kids again baby and kids okay so now it has two items so now let's do um men in black man i have had this forever and a day let's put this in there so we're going to click on it and make it so it's going to be imported you can see down here the weight i'm going to say it's 12 to 15 ounces and if you aren't right they can uh you can't get in trouble if you have five items that you sell, oh, more than five items you sell a week, I think. Not sure, look it up yourself, that the um, uh, weight is not right because they do the shipping labels themselves. So we're just gonna say action figures, okay? That's the category. So now I have three items to import. Um, let's see if they have one that is book category. I'm going to say probably that's a pound and book books. Uh, it's rare and vintage book because it's a vintage book. Okay, so you want to make sure your weights are right. Otherwise, you could, you know, get in trouble. I get, I'm guesstimating on these weights. If they are not right uh, and I have more than five cell a week, I could get in trouble. But let's import the four items. You see your little whatnot dude is right here kind of looks like a fat little w spongebob guy right so import successful your imported listings are now live and for sale and whatnot you can edit and update your listings at any time from the seller hub so how do i get to the seller hub okay so to get to the seller hub you click on your little name what's your puss is getting a call Hello? i'm gonna have to end this soon uh, you click on your name and you go to, whoops, that's not it. Well, you, we're on the seller hub, so that's why. If we go to home and then we come over here. Oh, it's so slow. Again, my book, eBay Profits Unleashed, is now available on Amazon. You see, it's thick, thick book all the ways. The art of sourcing where to find inventory. Okay, so um, if you click on it again, so now we're back at the home page. If you click on it again, you'll see here Seller Hub My Listings, Seller Hub My Shipments. If we click Seller Hub My Listings, we will so go back and we will be able to create more listings. Okay, you see the ones we just made are here. And if we click Create Listing, we can go again. You can do the single listing or bulk import. When you do bulk import, it is import from Poshmark and then you type in your username and you're done. So I hope that explains how to easily import items from Poshmark onto whatnot. You're going to need to probably tweak a few things like the weight, the category on some of your items, but most of them you do not. I have inv imported several thousand listings onto Whatnot from Poshmark um, and it's very easy especially since I have a VA that which is a virtual assistant that 
goes in and takes all my eBay listings and imports them into List Perfectly and then onto Poshmark. And then onto Poshmark. From Poshmark, I go right to Whatnot. It's very easy. So I hope this helped you. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it, guys.